So welcome back to another XS Gaming Let's Play and holy crap this is a very tragic way to start this next XS Gaming Let's Play. I am playing Astro Boy on the Game Boy Advance and this is like a hidden gem right here. Uh, if you guys are unfamiliar with Astro Boy it's pretty much uh, a kid who got turned into a robot after he died and he's like a little crime fighter. It's kind of awesome. Now the game starts off with a, a training mode. That's right there. That's a little training mode. We're going to skip that. We're going to go to the very first stage, which is Metro City. And, I mean, this game looks really good for a Game Boy Advance game. This was also made by Treasure. So, if you guys are big Treasure fans, like Gunstar Heroes, you guys are going to feel right at home by this gameplay. Because it's going to look very reminiscent. Definitely. But uh, what's really cool is this game features a lot of different play styles. I mean, it's got the you know classic beat 'em up with the platforming, but there's also almost like some bullet hell mode as well in the second stage. I definitely wanted to show you guys, but for now, this is kind of just getting my feet wet. It's kicking some butt. I could definitely see this being like an early PlayStation title almost. Because it looks a little bit better than something you would see on Super Nintendo. But at the same time, it's just got that 2D goodness. Maybe like a Sega Saturn game. Definitely see this on the Sega Saturn. There you go. Yeah, this was put out by Treasure and Sega. Back when Sega was really awesome. Uh, I want to say this was released in the early 2000s. I could be wrong. But this is a this is definitely a game that's on the Game Boy Advance you don't hear enough people talk about. I hate this part. It's like you always get little mini bosses, which is... You got this guy on a, like a stop sign. And until you defeat him, there's all these cars that try to come out and get you. Boom. That's one way to do it. So many enemies on this, too. Oh my gosh. <laughs> when I first played this game and I saw these little bees, I thought they were like in the background and they were like going to zoom in and try to fight me. But they're actually that small. So there's the big bees. I battled medium bees and small bees and now I'm battling big bees. And, and I have to say the sprites for Game Boy Advance game, even being on this little emulator here, they're pretty detailed. Holy crap. There you go. <laughs> I don't know why I find that so satisfying. It's awesome. But yeah, man, I remember watching Astro Boy actually... I rented a VHS tape of Astro Boy at Blockbuster when I was a kid. And I didn't understand the uh, the history of Astro Boy. I just thought it was, you know, a cartoon. But this is actually one of the earliest animes that was shown in America. I believe it was the 70s. 70s or 60s that they showed this um, program. And I loved it. I thought it was so cool. That was a really cool little show. These spiders are a little annoying. Let's get all that laserness in there. Oh crap. They just never stop. It's crazy. Shh. 
shoot him with my butt. Little butt guns. That was something he did in the, the cartoon. I always thought that was kind of funny as a kid. Alright, cool. I think I'm going to battle... Oh yeah, the main boss. This guy is kind of easy though. He's not really that difficult. As long as you get your power-ups and everything. Yeah, he's already almost dead. Oh, it went the wrong way. Boom. Awesome. Oh, thank you, Astro. You truly are a special robot. <laughs> That's how she sounds when she talks. Well, I just uh, did what any other robot would do. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, yeah, I, I saved this chick. And then... um. I gotta go and keep defeating people. Now, you, you meet people in this game and you get like a little web of personalities and stuff like that. And with that, you can kind of... This is where like the little action RPG element come, gets in there because you can change your stats. Uh, you know, I'm going to put a little bit more towards... Um, what should I do? Maybe... Um, I'll use jets. Have better jets. Oh, you see, here's the, here's the main boss. I had so much trouble battling this guy. This guy's kind of tough if you don't know the tricks. Yeah, if you don't know what you're doing, you can really screw up with this fight. I died so many times. Especially towards the end when he starts doing this little jump attack. It's so crazy. Well, that's not really going to help me. See, he, yeah, see, he does that. You gotta kind of jump out of the way. If you don't, then if you don't jump out of the way. He'll land on top of you and he'll kill you in like two hits. So, uh, stage one clear. Now, next stage is actually going to be more of a, a shooter. Kind of like Gradius. Very interesting. Let's see, okay. Looks like I need to evolve. Stage two. That's like my dad with his big nose. But this part is really awesome, man. It's a shame this game's really started going up in value too because um, it's a really good it's a really good this game even if it's in a handheld. I know some people are kind of weary about handheld games, but I mean, man, this is this is a lot of fun. It has all the elements I love about video games. I love shooters. I love like platformers and beat 'em ups. It's just a good pick up and play game. See, I think this is what makes you think of like the Saturn days. See, I can see this being like on the Saturn. For some reason. Oh, snap. And also for a handheld, it's got a lot of, uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of slowdown for the, the sizable sprites and all the action going on. There's really not a lot of lag, which is pretty impressive. But I mean, treasure is good about this, man. I mean, uh, some of you guys, some of you guys might not know, but uh, treasure was actually developed by ex-members of Konami. Um, that's why Gunstar Heroes plays so similar to uh, Contra. It's basically the the old Contra guys that left Konami went and made Gunstar Heroes. Which is like one of my favorite uh, Sega Genesis games. I love that game. Oh crap. Now I got a battle. This guy makes think of Legion from like Castlevania. Battle this guy.
The laser's the best move for this dude. Might start using some jetpacks though. There you go. Well, now he's being a dick. I need to start, <laughs> I need to be a little careful. I want to end up dying. Holy crap. Oh, see, I knew it. I knew it. Okay, I got him this time. He went, he went right into that. I'm going to end up dying again if I'm not careful. Oh, come on. I got it. I got it. Oh, I got it. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. Look at my health. I do this a lot in my Let's Plays, I noticed. If you guys watch some of my other ones, like Castlevania and stuff like that, I'll be, like, the last guy, and, like, the fraction of my health is almost all the way gone. But yeah, this game has a pretty interesting story as well. I'm kind of skipping a little bit over it. Um, but I, I basically just want to show you guys like the, the gameplay to Astro Boy and show you guys what it's all about. Have like this little, <laughs> this really funny little boss fight and I want to end a Let's Play with that. But I run to another, uh, what looks like another little robot named Poke. Here come those weirdos. These are probably my favorite characters in the game. <laughs> a rabbit, a duck, a horse riding in a big tire? <laughs> I'm going to beat these guys and I'll end the let's play because, I, like I said, I just kind of want to do a little short video of uh, Excess Gaming Let's Play. I haven't done one in a while and... Oh crap, I'm gonna I'm totally gonna die. I'm totally gonna die with this. Might as well just let them kill me. Okay. I'll get him this time. If it's the last thing I do. Gotta yeah, skip all this. Alright, cool. Oh shit. <laughs> it might help if I face the right direction when I do that move. I don't know. Could be wrong. Yeah, they're they're not hard. It's they're actually here to help you, but they think that you're a bad guy. Pretty much. And then they, they get added to my little personality tree. The Amazing Three. I'm going to add a little bit more. I think I'll add some life. 
And this level here is a little more exploration. Um, it's very interesting, but I think I might do a part two to this Let's Play. Be sure to leave a comment below. Tell me if you want to see more of this game. I, I've been really enjoying it. I think it's a great Game Boy Advance game. If you guys can find it in the wild, definitely pick it up. Definitely. I cannot stress enough to get this game. But anyway, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, happy gaming. Can't get enough of Excess Gaming Podcast? Be sure to check out our audio podcast on podomag.com. You can also subscribe to us on iTunes. And if you have a YouTube channel or podcast you'd like to share, be sure to check us out on Facebook on our group page and join the community. As always, guys, thank you so much for all the support and happy gaming.